everybody, it's Takayla, and I have another beautiful lingerie set to show you guys. So I also want to tell you, because I know some of you are going to think about this right away, and I totally understand. I know you can't see a lot of the stockings in this video. So what I thought I would do when I have a chance from now on is I'll film one video that's kind of the ones where I handhold and I focus on my legs and feet and the stockings. And then I'll do one video like this where you can see more of the like full ensemble as much as possible. Since I'm shooting in a smaller space, it's easier for me to change up the angles and do separate videos than it is for me to try to <laughs> fit everything in one video because it just doesn't work. And then you can't see details and all that stuff. So I'm very big on the details and I think lingerie is very detailed as is hosiery. So it's kind of better to show you guys a little bit closer than to try to get everything in one shot. So. That's what I'm going to do. But anyway, about this lingerie. So I'm so excited to show you guys this set. So this is a celestial themed set from Feather Red, who is an indie lingerie designer. And I will include links for her shop. And I just, I love this. As soon as I saw this, I had to have it, even though it's white and I don't usually buy a lot of white lingerie not I just it's not that I don't like it I just okay well here's the real deal I like more rich colors and dark colors because they make my skin look paler and I am very pale but I like to look as pale as possible and it's just a personal thing that I like and so anyway this set is comprised of a sort of long line bralette and then a garter belt, which I have on over or under, under the bottoms. The panties are over the garter belts, which is the traditional way to wear them. And it is so much easier to put all that together when I'm putting them, when I put the stockings and the garter belt on first. I sometimes don't do that because um, the I want to show off the panties and the garter belt's a different color and I just want it to be an accent. But in this case, it's a matching set, so it works really well to put it all together. I'm doing my best to work with the lighting that I have today. My studio space is kind of under construction right now again. It's, it's complicated, but anyway, hopefully that will be back soon because I can get much better lighting there. But I didn't want to wait for that to make that video for you guys and make this video for you guys. I'm kind of uh, stumbling over my words today. I'm so excited to be filming again. So the panties on this, and I'm going to try to keep my hands up here so nobody freaks out <laughs> um, about this. But um, the panties are mostly this white and gold lace in the back. And then you see the garter belt here up higher. Hopefully you can... If I lean forward a little bit, you can see it better. It's not a very flattering pose, but it shows off the lingerie, which is my goal right now. And then you can see there are garter straps. So there's two in the back, two in the front. They are white elastic with gold uh, hardware. And they have these really nice clips on them. I'm not going to be able to get close enough to show you guys the clips, but in the other video with the stockings, you'll be able to see the clips. Um, these are really nice clips. They, uh, if you've ever tried, some garter clips are too shallow, so they don't grip stockings properly, especially vintage stockings with a thicker welt on them, or even novelty stockings now with a thicker welt. And sometimes that's just because the stockings were meant to be holdups, but sometimes I want to wear those with garter belts too, so it's nice to have the gartered look. So these stockings, and again, I know you can't see them like super well, but they are vintage. Maybe if I go this way, is this better? Oh, this is better. Okay. So these are, I believe, vintage. I can't find, I'm going to rest my foot up here. I can't find the uh, packaging for them, which means I must have had them for a while. And they don't have any label or um, like, sometimes they have um, like text here on one of them. It's usually actually this side. They don't have any text here and I don't think they ever did like it doesn't look like it came off I have a couple of very old vintage pairs where the labels have kind of worn off of them but I don't think these are one of those um, they could be modern but I don't think they are if you actually recognize them and know what they are please let me know in the comments these don't have a reinforced heel and toe and they don't have a seam but that doesn't necessarily mean 
anything specific <laughs> because I have modern ones that do have both of those things and I definitely have some vintage ones still in the package that I think don't. So stockings are, I'm sure there's people who are experts. I'm not an expert. I just like to wear them. Um, who could probably look at them and be like, oh yeah, that's this kind and just could tell me right off, but uh, I can't do that. So I'll show you the back one more time. I do like, uh, so this is a, there's a double clip in the back for the bra. And then of course there are the elastic straps as well. And I like the cut of this bra and I keep forgetting to mention that, but it's a little bit of a different triangle cup shape because the, the satin actually goes a little bit further up and back. So the straps start here instead of some other bras I have where they start like lower down. And not to say that either style is better or worse, but it gives a different shape. And so I like that. I will say that it's, it's actually pretty supportive. I don't need a lot of support because I'm not really busty, but there's a nice band of elastic that runs under here that's actually nice and supportive. So if you are someone or know someone that needs more support, I do think that this style would work for you as well. I'm not sure up to what degree, but I'm sure the designer, Feather Red, could tell you way more about all of that. And again, I'll put that link in the description box below, but I like the hourglass shape I get from this too. I don't know if you guys can see there, because my hips are curving out and then you get the little, I don't have as much of an hourglass shape, obviously, as some people. Mine's a little bit more petite, but I like it. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this little peek video. And as always, you can find more goodies on Patreon. There will be a ton of selfies in those because I already shot them. I shot a bunch. I don't know exactly how many, but I shot um, some like this and then some with the bra and the garter belt and no panties and then some that are just nude with the garter belt and the stockings. So there's a ton of photos. I got a little carried away possibly. And I did a lot like playing with the stockings and the clips and stuff like that because I just, I like doing that. So if you like seeing my selfies, there's a bunch of them on Patreon. And then there will also be more videos on Patreon. Of course, you guys know that I always post extra videos on Patreon if that's an option for you. So if my Patreon starts at $2 and goes up, you get to pick the amount. If that's not your cup of tea, that's okay. You can just enjoy my uh, free public content that I have here on YouTube, of course. And then also, if you want to see photos and more details of lingerie, you can find those on my Instagram, which I always link or almost always link in the description box of my videos. So of course, all that content is free. So if you don't have any cash to spare, that's cool. I sell goodies for you. And if you do have a little bit to spare, there's a ton of stuff on Patreon. Apparently, I post a lot. My patrons tell me all the time that I post a lot. Um, like often and a lot of content what I do post. So if that's something that you're looking for, if you just want to check it out, it's there. I'm kind of so happy about this lingerie. I'm doing my little, this is my happy dance. I'm not a very good dancer. <laughs> it's more like a wiggle than a dance, but I still love it. And I love the lines and everything. It's just so pretty. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great day and I will talk to you again soon. Bye.